Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading for mid-March. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. All right, Aquarius, if this video does indeed resonate, then any interaction with it, whether it's a like or a comment or a subscribe, will not only add your energy to the collective pool, it's just going to make it easier for me to read for everybody just a little bit better and it will help my channel grow. All right, that will be appreciated. Now, I am primarily a love reader. That is what I'm going to focus on and we will do a simple past, present, future with clarifiers today. All right, we have last quarter moon in Taurus. Be proud of yourself. There's a lot of activity happening for Aquarians, especially considering Pluto is entering Aquarius on the 23rd and Saturn is finally out of your sign. That's a cause for celebration, is it not? I feel like be proud of yourself is important here because Saturn is the great disciplinarian, right? Saturn teaches the harshest lessons and some of you have, maybe all of you have passed very difficult tests in the last uh, few years. So it's time to pat yourself on the back. We have Golden Healer Quartz. Open the door. Now, I am pretty well versed in the crystal language, but I will still open the book and read this out to you. Aircraft flying overhead. It's a very cloudy day today. All right, we have Take It Easy. You are ready to begin the process <clears throat> towards some form of healing. Think about an aspect of your life that is calling for your attention. Unlock the door in your subconscious mind so you can remember and overcome any experiences or feelings you may have blocked out. Allow yourself to acknowledge these emotions and then let your healing journey begin. Remember to take it slow and easy as you uncover the parts of yourself that need healing and as you embrace a better, stronger you on the other side of the door. Interesting. Now, um, I will pull out your tarot to correlate these cards. But like I was saying, Saturn, having been in your sign for so long, it tends to put you in a box, all right, in a metaphorical box. It puts you in a box that is full of difficulties and obstacles, right? It makes you face them. But the minute Saturn leaves your sign, it, it's like the box opens, and you can finally see those problems from a third perspective, right? From a different perspective, from a bird's eye view. So those problems start looking a whole lot smaller because you've been so intimate with them for so long. Does that make sense? So I feel like with this open the door, it's like you're looking at these issues from, it's not like they're diluted, but they're just not affecting you as much anymore and you're ready to heal whatever this is. This could be related to relationship, of course, but it could also be related to traumas, right? It could be related to your own psyche, something that you've been repressing, something that you weren't being able to address is now bubbling up to the surface to be healed. All right, what was in the recent past? We have judgment. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Whoop. That's too many. Too, too many. The cards want to talk for you. And we have the Six of Swords. Another thing I suddenly got, and then we have the Knight of Wands at the bottom. Forgot to mention, since we have a Taurus card showing up, um, Venus has entered Taurus, finally. Um, after being in Aries and that means that we can truly be proud of ourselves we can be proud of our bodies we can be proud of our assets of our material wealth of our goals of our achievements right so I feel like there's a little bit more focus inward uh, towards grounding yourself grounding your body because that's what Taurus does that's the Empress energy anyway with judgment eight of Pentacles and the six of swords some kind of awakening took place. I don't know if this is your energy or your person's energy. You can always flip-flop them. Some kind of awakening took place and it's almost like a part of you wanted to work on it. I will be clarifying. But a part of you wanted to work on it and look at the details. Look at the details. You see that laser focus right here. But then it's almost like you didn't like what you saw. 
and you decided to move away from this let's see why is the judgment card here the lovers yeah this was a relationship that came back to fruition plain and simple why is the eight of pentacles here the page of wands you were excited you were excited for this return you were excited to work on things there was a sense of free spiritedness and playfulness and adventure and looking at things differently right remember the box that i was talking about it's like you were smack dab in the middle of problems in 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 your union and the minute you stepped away from it a little bit you realized that things weren't as bad as you were playing them out to be you were too close to the problem but then why is the six of swords here maybe it's just moving on from chaos the hanged man i'm gonna need another one the seven of wands i feel like problems restarted that's what i'm getting because i saw the hermit at the bottom with the queen of cups problems may have restarted and resurfaced let me get another card for the lovers and judgment the tower i knew there was a but my gut was telling me that there was a but and then we have the three of pentacles with the four of pentacles it's possible just for a small number of you there was another energy that was affecting this connection it doesn't have to be another romantic partner it could just be your person was a workaholic or family was interfering or friends were interfering whatever it doesn't matter but it's like something restarted it brought you a whole lot of joy it's like a, a weight fell off your shoulders that passion was reignited but then something happened where you were just like that shifted perspective that i was talking about it's like no matter which way you looked at it it was a lose lose situation i don't know what this is i'm not going to spend too much time here because thankfully it's in the past let's see what's in the present moment the seven of cups you remember i mentioned that there could have been another energy affecting this it is possible because the seven of cups is distractions it's it's a whole lot of everything right not being able to focus your energy in one place then we have the ten of cups that's beautiful energy integration and then we have the two of wands why why am i seeing this the minute things start falling into place you want to get out of it the three of swords the king of pentacles i feel like okay the king of pentacles especially in mid march readings has been showing up not as someone who is very stable it's been showing up as someone who's very unchanging right this is earth energy taurus virgo capricorn doesn't have to be that's just the archetype i'm talking about with the 7 of cups i'm almost getting with the 7 and the 10 whatever distraction there was it was eliminated okay that's, that sounds really harsh but there was no distraction anymore with the 10 of cups there was that laser, laser focus right there was a union again or there will be in the present but with the 2 of wands you have one foot out the door because i feel like the pain is still there you're still dealing with that pain and with the the king of pentacles i feel like this person is not changing their ways no matter what you do why is the 7 of cups here you can't make this up you can't make this up there are too many distractions in this union way too many let's just get one more for kicks the high priestess i feel like your gut is telling you that this is not going to change there is so much love here though which is why i'm so confused why is the 10 of cups here the queen of wands this person thinks you're highly attractive um, no gender in tarot and then the 8 of wands so i see this communication wanting to come in right that this declaration of love and togetherness and let's be ha let's have a happily ever after shouldn't we i don't see your heart in it though for some reason why is the two of wands here the eight of cups what did i say the two of wands can be literally just be making plans together for the future but i wasn't getting that right i am an intuitive reader and that's what i was getting i was getting walking away let's clarify the three of swords the devil there we are the devil always talks about toxicity this is capricorn energy saturnian energy being the key word here
this person has not changed um, their ways. The King of Pentacles is also very Capricornian energy. It is the higher octave of Saturn. The devil is the lower octave. Right? That unchangingness, that feeling chained to something and refusing to, to change. I see you walking away from this. And I feel like that's why you're proud of yourself. And that's why you should be. Because you're opening the door to healing. I feel like this person was repressing that healing. They weren't letting you. The minute you would start healing, you'd be back on this hamster wheel. And it'd be back to square one. I feel like this communication, whatever it is, it's going to be exactly what your past self wanted to hear. What your past self would be attracted to. You know, it's almost like being lured into the spider web. You would get lured in the past, but now you know better. And you're like, I'm done with your love bombing. I'm done with your BS. I'm out. Because I know how this ends. should be proud of yourself what's in the future the ace of cups this could be new love healthy love the queen of wands there you are someone who's not just bsing i wish i could say the actual word but youtube censorship this is the real deal this is not a clarified card this is part of your main spread right Someone who isn't distracted. Someone who has eyes only for you. Again, I don't know if this person, uh, if it's this person cleaning up their act or it's somebody new. We will see. And then we have the moon, Cancer Pisces energy. The moon can also be incredibly healing. We have more Pisces energy with the hanged man, the king of swords, the chariot, cancer energy, ten of wands and the three of swords. It is possible that if this is a new person, they're going to make you look at your previous relationship in a way that is going to surprise you. You're going to feel surprised as to why you stayed here for so long. Or if this is a return, the person you're dealing with is going to finally come to this realization of the toxicity that they were bringing to the table. We will see. Let's clarify. The Six of Swords. We have the Six of Swords right here. This could very well be a past person. I'm suddenly Eight of Pentacles again. I feel like, you know, you were the one putting in the work, right? With the Eight of Pentacles, Page of Wands, you were the one bringing life to this relationship. If this is the return, I, it could be. And the minute you withdraw your energy with the High Priestess, the Eight of Cups, the Two of Wands, you withdraw your energy, this person again feels the lack of it, right? And when you stop feeding someone's ego, when you stop filling someone's emotional cup, what happens? It runs dry. And what happens when it runs dry? They experience pain, the pain that you have been feeling. Now, with the Six of Swords and this Ace of Cups, this is moving towards calmer waters for this person, which is you. You were moving away from, from chaos, which was this person. Does that make sense? It's like imagine a boat, right? There are two shores. One is you, peace and calm. And one is this person, chaos, right? And the boat is the relationship. It's moving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And this person realizes where they're at on the chaos shore. That is where they're going to keep experiencing this. So they keep wanting to move towards you. But it's almost like the shoreline keeps moving further away. Let me get another one. The King of Wands. Now they want to match your energy. No gender in tarot, but you're showing up as the Queen of Wands. Now this person wants to match your frequency. They don't want to come, come out as a page. They were showing up as a page right here. Now they want to level up. Some of them may literally just be like working out or 
or you know trying to get makeovers trying to look better and, and show off on social media just to lure you back in into that spider web trying to lure that ship like a siren does you know how it lures sailors to kill them <laughs> doom and gloom i know pardon me but that's just that's what i got they're trying to lure you back and if this is a new person i feel like they're going to be the calm in the storm for you this is again someone who is very playful and attractive and fun why is the queen of wands here the eight of pentacles you've been working on yourself and how and it's showing the three of pentacles and i feel like you're being very careful about the company you're keeping the empress there you are i was talking about taurus energy again I'm, I'm pretty sure there are men watching this, right? The Empress archetype can, you can be the embodiment of it. Well, even if you, you, you um, lean more towards the masculine side, right? We carry masculine and feminine energies both within us. This is someone who is very nurturing, not just to self, but to others. This is someone who, this is Gaia energy. This is Mother Earth energy, right? You are being very careful about the company you're keeping. There's this quote that whenever I make a new friend or, or I interact with people, I always think about this quote which says, you are the average of the top five people that, that you spend the most amount of time with. It used to freak me out when I realized that I was surrounded by goons and, and just ridiculous people. And I started putting a filtration system in place. I feel like you're being very careful about who has access to you and your energy, including this person. You're only surrounding yourself with people who, I just saw the Eight of Swords with the Justice card, who heal you, who nurture you, who you want to nurture, not people who keep depleting you and who, who leave you in your head, you know? Why is the moon here, the Five of Cups? There will be more traumas and triggers that will resurface in the future. More traumas that need to be healed. You may not want to hear that, but there's a reason Golden Healer Quartz has shown up because that Pandora's box is open. And sometimes you need to open it, right? We always talk about keeping it closed. Sometimes it needs to be opened because if you keep re repressing that pain and suppressing it, it's gonna stay with you for the rest of your life, right? And then we have the Magician. And what is that going to do? It's going to open you up to your personal power. And then we have the justice card again. With the fool, a brand new beginning. Your mind and your heart, once you heal all of this, they're finally going to be on the same page. They will finally uh, be able to be on the same frequency. A shifted perspective is paramount here. I feel like for some of you, this was a highly karmic situation and you are coming out of it very gracefully i do see new love i do see an offer coming in and i'm i am not a psychic i don't know if this is the past person or, or it's someone brand new but i see you cleaning up your life and that is why you should be proud of yourself aquarius beautiful all right let's close this off with a few charms we have dream focus on your dreams now that saturn is in pisces it may be um saturn can try and send us messages through our dreams because pisces is a very neptunian energy it is the dream world it is a subconscious mind right listen to subliminals while you're sleeping so you can program your subconscious mind um and we have dream again you can't make this up keep a dream journal some of you you may be getting messages in your dreams we have a broken heart but no more balance is coming in right we have the let m this could be your initial could be the initial of the person you're dealing with doesn't have to be and then we have a pentacle now the pentacle or the pentagram can be representative of the devil and the king of pentacles or the queen of pentacles you need to make sure that you discern very clearly who you are engaging with right who is carrying this pentacle energy this groundedness this rootedness that is key because you don't want anyone messing with your auric field again right that was it aquarius i hope this helped i will see you in the next one Bye bye